Hi, I'm Diana, the artist behind My McDoodles. Welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome back. Today we'll be drawing a geometric animal, and I chose a bear because of Father's Day being around the bend. I thought, well, it might make a cute um, illustration for like a Father's Day card or a sticker or a shirt or something. You can choose any animal you wish and follow the same technique. For this project, I just made a canvas that is the size of my screen. You can make it whatever size you choose. You might want to do something like an 8x10 or an 8.5x11 or something that's like a good size for a print. Um, but whatever size you choose, just make sure it's 300 dots per inch so your image will print nice and crisp and you'll have enough resolution to use this for a variety of different projects. The pencil I'm going to use is available in the Doodle Squad library called Magic Pencil. And when you draw with it, it makes these fun colors. It's kind of like these um, color changing pencils that you can use. Um, I think are really fun to sketch with and doodle with where the tip is a bunch of different colors. So it's supposed to simulate something like that in a digital format. So I'm going to use that to sketch my design in because I thought it could be also pretty fun for the final piece um, to have it like really colorful like that for something like a sticker or a mug or something. Um, but feel free to use whatever you wish. Uh, if you would like to use the magic pencil, you can go to my website and click on the freebie section and sign up for my Doodle Squad if you're not already a member. And if you're a member, just log into the Doodle Squad library and the magic pencil is in there. I'll put the link in the description of this video. So to get some ideas, you can go on the web and just type in like geometric bear or geometric whatever animal you choose. Um, and you can see there's a whole bunch of different types and this gives you kind of like some fun ideas to work with. Um, or you could just type in like images for a bear and then just look at the basic shapes that a bear is made out of and kind of like break it into the geometric shapes yourself. And I just chose a few of these and i um, going to use those as reference images. That Having that on like the side of my screen there is really distracting to me so I just saved some of the images and I'm just going to pop them in there on the side so I can have them right here in my Procreate document. So I have those in one layer, and then in a new layer, I'll just sketch in some of my um, designs. I'd like to start with this simple one like that, because once you have this basic frame, then you can add in more lines and make it more complex and detailed like this one. Um, and then I'll do this head in a separate illustration and do the basic shapes first as well, and then add in more detail. So let's start with this really simple one. So I'm in a new layer and then I just want to pick out some of the major points. So the things I would like to highlight are this shape of the head here, like how the nose, it goes like down like that a little bit and then out, it's not just like a rounded dome like that. And then the, um, like the way the back is shaped and then this really large hind quarter here. So those are the three things that I'm focusing on. Um, and it obviously varies depending what animal you're drawing. So I'm gonna start with that simple shape and just kind of like sketch in some geometric shapes here to represent the different areas. And since this person already broke it down into these shapes, I don't have to do much thinking. I can kind of just like look at the shapes that they drew and recreate them myself. But if you're looking at an actual image of a bear, um, you can kind of, you'll have to break down, it down into these shapes yourself. So there's like the belly and then like the back leg, which might need to be a little bigger. It's okay if this first sketch isn't perfect. Um, I'm gonna go back and refine it. So I have nice clean lines, especially if I'm gonna use this colorful pencil for my final. And then if you need to adjust things as you go, you can kind of just like select and um, scoot it around and make it smaller. Like that back leg was bigger than this one, which makes no sense. So feel free to kind of like move things around and adjust them as you need to. And then we'll make a new layer on top and kind of refine it a little bit here. So I'll just go through and do all of my basic shapes first. 
and I'll speed up the video a little bit because this could be quite tedious to watch someone else drawing these um, but you get kind of the idea here and then just kind of look at yours and pick out the major points that you want to make sure you focus on and do the same thing Okay, so that looks pretty good to me as far as recreating this. This area back here could be a little bigger. But also it's obviously like a really loose interpretation of a, a bear. So it's okay if it's not like 100% um, accurate because it's like a bunch of geometric shapes. It doesn't as long as it gives you the basic idea that it's a bear. Um, so I'll use that as my uh, kind of like my skeleton to create something like this. <clears throat> so I'll save that one and then make a new layer. I think I need to retrace to clean it up a little. So I'll just turn down the opacity and then trace over it to get a nice clean one. And then we'll duplicate that to add these details in here. So first I'm just gonna trace it. So this is the cleaned up version. I don't think I need these anymore. If I need them, I can always click it back on to see like how they did their lines, but um, for now, I'm just going to click it off to save space and I'm going to keep this as my original as like this outline because I kind of like it just like this too and then I'll just duplicate it up here in the menu and work on the duplicate to add in some more like fun details and make it look like really geometric and, and cool. So I'm just going to go through and like kind of just make like random shapes like try not to make them all um, like too similar. So I kind of just add them and you can always kind of zoom out, see how it looks um, without like trying to overthink it. It kind of looks better when it's just really like random and um, not too matchy. So I'll just go through and try my best to make it like pretty random and just add in these like really angled shapes and um, come back and see how it looks. Here's what I added to mine. It's about as far as I want to go with it. Like it might even be a little bit too much in some areas. Like the ear looks a little bit odd to me, so I'll probably fix that. Um, but this is as far as I'd like to go with this and I'd love to offer this as like a sticker or a mug and keep an eye out for this. So for that one, I'd like to include this like um, part here that looks like the eye, the nose, and then the way they did the ears, I like that. And then like how this is kind of like jaggedy, like it's the fur. Um, I want to make sure to do that instead of having it just like straight down um, and smooth. So those are the things I'd like to focus on for that one. And then I'll just go through and do the same technique and draw in my shapes. So starting with an outline first and just making sure to get like the nose shaped um, where it like goes down where the eye is and then it goes out instead of being like a smooth line there. Okay, so I'll use a shape, something like that, and then I'll go back in and make these like jaggedy later. That's just the general shape I would like to use. And then you can always make it a little bigger. There we go. And work on it from there. And then I'm gonna place an eye like, like right about there, and then the nose. Sometimes it's helpful to zoom out and see how it looks from afar. I think that eye is a little too low and maybe too big. So kind of like there. And then I'll just go through and just adjust things. 
okay someone was trying to go with something like that so i've done so much adjusting on this um you can see it's like kind of messy and stuff i'm just going to make a new layer on the top turn this down and on the opacity slider just pretty low and then just basically just trace my outline um, again with my magic pencil. The nose is still not perfect. There's something weird going on. I think it's like too, um, too rounded. So I'll just kind of try to adjust that here. And then we'll just get this cleaned up here. I'm just going to trace the outline and then I'll come back in and do the, um, like the detail on the inside afterwards. I don't want to keep this as my original because it's just too simplified. I don't really like how it looks like this. So I'm just going to make a layer on top to add in my 3D kind of lines and stuff. And then once I get it how I well, like it to look, I'll just merge those two layers together. I'm, I won't bother keeping this as an, an original for the head. Um, so I'll just go through and do my lines in this new layer that's on top and then come back and we can chat about it. So this is how mine looks now that I added in the lines, which I like it much better with all of this detail. I wasn't really loving it when it was just the outline. Um, I could have easily just trashed that design and been on my way. But I like it now that it has all these like geometric shapes in it. Um, the only thing is I, that I would note is I tried not to just do like triangles. It's really easy to just keep making bunches of triangles, which now that I'm looking at it, it does kind of look like a lot of triangles. But I tried to just think of other like angles I could make or um, sh like odd shapes. So it doesn't look like you just went through and like filled it in with a bunch of triangles. Um, besides that, I didn't really have any methodical way of filling it. It just kind of started in one corner or one side and worked my way over from there and tried not to add too much detail around like the eye and the nose area um, because I wanted those to be kind of like obvious that it's an eye and a nose. Um, besides that, it's just pretty random. And I lifted my pencil between each stroke so that it would make a different color each time um, just to kind of keep it looking really random and uh, just not planned out or perfect. So these are the two designs I'll be using and I like those so I'm just going to clip those two layers together. So now I have a bare head and the bare body. And I think that I'll go ahead and make these into some stickers and mugs and maybe even a print. If you would like to know how to make stickers, I do have videos on that, which I'll link up in the cards up here. Um, but I have some stickers on my YouTube channel where I make them by hand or on a Cricut machine. And so I think that I'll print these out and see if I can make some fun stickers out of it. So I hope this tutorial was fun for you. I know it's like short and quick today. You could use this as your sketch and then go in and like color all your, your blocks um, and make it like a really finished looking piece with like a lot of color. Or you could just leave it like this. I really like it like this, but I would love to see what you made. So if you make this project and you post it on Instagram, you can tag me at MyMcDoodles or use hashtag MyMcDoodles so I can see what you created. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to click like and don't forget to subscribe before you go so you don't miss out on the next fun tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.